welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a game called Maggot Face Gross, which is a game where a lot of other people have gone missing, but so is your sister Kirsty. We gotta figure out the mystery, I guess. Maggot Face is so gross. I like this logo. I like everything about it so far. It looks good. The Itchio page was very uh, interesting. I... I guess this is the dev's first game. I'm excited to see how it goes. The premise is pretty interesting. The screenshots I saw, I really liked. We're gonna hop in. A lot of people have gone missing these past months. My sister Kirsty is missing too. I like this cinematic intro. She disappeared two weeks ago. Now I'm gonna find Kirsty myself since the police won't. We're gonna take matters into our own hands. We're going to be the sibling she never thought she had. I'll save you. Wow, this is already a lot more effort than <laughs> some some games have just to be cinematic and interesting with their opening. Also, everything's like very green. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I would love to live somewhere like that. My sister was last seen around here. Although I feel like if I did, there would be hurricanes and I would just die day one. Which is all broken. Oh, 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 don't do it. I had a feeling and I was like, nah, there's no way they wouldn't. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a spooky dream. Maybe someone in this house has seen her. Hello? An interesting house. Is that an outhouse? Ew. I mean, I get it, but yuck. Oh, I get a flashlight right away. Thank you so much for... What? What's that smell, a dead body? Oh, I pressed E. Pots and pots? Just more bowls, I guess. Ew. There's bugs all over that. Ew, all over that too? And a maggot, I definitely saw that. Yuck, something happened here. What could it be? Uh, okay, no door on that side. What a weird layout. That's my biggest gripe right now with indie games is- Oh. <gasps> oh no! I didn't get to explore upstairs or read those. Oh, there's like an attic up there. What is this? Blood? My blood? Blood of sake. Can you imagine? Uh. Was that the sound of the door closing behind me or did someone just lock me into spooky town? This looks like it might be going deeper. It goes nowhere, but this continues. Oh, another door. Okay. Oh, more missing posters. These are my posters. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? Wait, why, if they're your posters, why are they of tons of different people? Oh, do you mean this for- oh. You probably just mean that specific one. The fog is all green and gunky. Yuck. That's a giant sewer pipe. I don't know how big sewage lines are, actually, now that I think about it. Whoa, there's so many down here, though. Underneath of this house is huge. How long have they been carving this out? Oh no, we have to go down. All right. Bloop. Ow. What is this place? I don't know. Uh. Oh no. Hello. Are you a Skellington? Oh, you got little buggies on you. Oh my God. A corpse. Yeah, dude. A corpse. Is there something over here? Oh, you know. Oh no, a child. Oh no. What is this? A crystal. I thought the corpse was gone for a moment there. I got a little scared. Alright, we're going down to Corpse Town. Ew, I like this so far. Visually, it's very interesting and different. I don't know what the hell is up with this. I can't believe they would put a child in this game. Oh my gosh. Skull? Rip, rip, buddy. Oh, I can jump. Okay, do we jump in here? Nope, I guess not. Oh, is it a... Okay, I do not think it is a jumping puzzle, but you never know. You never know. 
use any games will get you when you least well where would i even go right okay let's get out of here can i go in here oh i can all right <gasps> oh my <sighs> Oh my god, that got me so bad. I almost jumped out of my chair. Oh, is this the door to you? It is. Oh, we're loading out. I hear crying. Hello? Yeah, I just seen, saw some stuff, you guys. Suki's house of jump scares told me to avoid dark spots on the floor. Hey! I'll let you out of here. Uh oh. Uh. I am so. I'm smiling right now, but I'm so sorry. Well, I should learn from Justine, the Amnesia DLC, that we don't just press buttons, that we don't know what they do. I did not. <laughs> Oh my, oh my, they really killed a lot of people. Oh my, uh, what the heck is that? There's some spooky chain noises here. This is like a nightmare. No, dude, it's not like a nightmare. I have to find a way out of here. This is a nightmare. This is a huge door. Okay, let's not go that way yet. Uh, let's just try not to touch any of the bodies on our way backwards. There was another- <laughs> still alive for now oh boy okay i pressed e wow why didn't that guy leave out of here was he too scared oh, i think i was in the same room i was about to get squished if i hadn't squished him would we have been in there together oh oh my god oh i'm playing that oh 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 where are you gonna snip from next I just played a game that was, it had, you know, a knife ooh, through the vent like that. You couldn't kill me, but, you know, a very scary. It's been a long time since I've played a game that has these sequences. You know, apart from the last one. You know what I mean. Look, you must, if you're able to stab through, you must know that I would go this way. Yo, how did I not die? The water is not very deep. Oh, there's some more buggies over here. Okay, it's just me walking. Ew. There's more ew that way and that way. Oh, I think it's poo. Forget maggot. How about poo face? That is huge. Oh, it's an arm. It's moving. Okay, bye. Wait. Okay, yeah, bye. That's gross. I don't like that. Is there enough, like, stuff in feces for maggots to care about? I was gonna say, you know, being in the sewer, that guy probably doesn't want to come get us, but... Kind of does live in one anyway, huh? Do we have found an alternate path now? Maybe if we hadn't accidentally murdered that guy? Friends? I heard you, but I don't see you. Well, I see little gross things, not, you know, squeaky mice friends. All right, bye. I know where I'm supposed to go. I really like this. It feels like the dev put in a lot of work to do the atmosphere just right. Ooh! Uh, I can't, I can't help you. Okay, I'm leaving, bye. I'm having some Zelda flashbacks. Ooh. Oh, I hopped out. Oh, I'm outside. Wow, how did I escape? No way I escaped. Absolutely no way. I need a bath. I need my car and a shower fast. I need to call the police. What a pretty area. I guess my car is still there. I don't see any baddies around that I need to avoid, so let's go, I guess. The bridge is gonna break on my way over, huh? 
Oh, I guess not. You know, if I was that guy, I would have already, like, decimated the car by now. No chance of escape. What is that? Gas mask? Are you- Oh. You really- you really do got a mega face, huh? Were you just hiding in the dirt? That's gross. I liked this. I wish it was a little longer. I wish we had a little bit more narrative, but for your very first game, this is a very strong entrance into indie horror. Just horror in general. It looks good. It sounds good. The sequences are very fun and engaging. The jump scares are timed just right, and they're not like my most despised part of indie horror jump scares is that they tend to be just really loud and not at all scary and there's no build up um which you could argue that there's not like a ton of dread build up but i think in this one there is because you're going through these spooky winding areas there's fog even underground um there's lots of ambient sound so you never know what's gonna happen wow i really like this Looks like we didn't, well, we didn't even find her sister. It would have been fun if we either found the sister or there was a sequence where, like, she wasn't even here after all. Really anything. But this is fun. This is fine. It doesn't need to be anything more than it is, especially for a first entry into games. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm definitely looking forward to more that this developer puts out because this is, like, I have nothing to complain about. It's great. I like this so much. It reminds me of the I Am Dave game where it's very esoteric and strange, but in its own perfect little way. Ah, you should follow the dev too. If you like this game, if you like the sequences, you should go tell them on the itch.io page. I've got that link down below. I always do. Otherwise, join our Discord. We're going to be putting together a little community event here in a couple of weeks. It should be just for anyone. We might do like Jackbox games and stuff. That is a celebration for hitting 200 subscribers here on YouTube. I'm very excited about that. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.